Jerry Pinkney, an American illustrator. He is one of the most celebrated illustrators of our times. He has published over 100 children's books and has a claim to his name, roughly 120 awards and certificates for illustrations that he has um, painted in these children's books. Jerry Pinckney was born on December 22, 1939 in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He was born to a carpenter and a homemaker. He's the middle of six children and grew up in a predominantly black neighborhood. He attributes that to giving him a very good sense of his culture and who he was and what he wanted to portray in his illustrations. He has a strong background of his African American culture and really relies on a lot of his cultural diversities um, to come through in his illustrations. Um, early on Pinckney's parents noticed his talents and encouraged him to um, continue to draw. He suffered from learning disabilities um, or difficulties in grade school and as early as first grade was when his parents and his teachers both noticed that he struggled with learning yet um, was exceptional with his pencil and expressing himself through drawing. Um, Jerry Pinckney has what today we say is dyslexia, uh, what is classified as dyslexia. Um, back when Jerry was in grade school, this was not known as well. Um, so this is this dyslexia is what brought Jerry Pinckney to expressing himself with a pencil in all different kinds of manners um, through drawing in order for him to be able to learn um, you know in a be in a better way that suited him he didn't learn like other students did so he had to figure out and discover what actually helped him to learn in the classroom um, he attributes a lot of that success um, you know because of his experience and where he is today um, Jerry Pinckney went to college for first at Dobbins um, vocational school and he was in the commercial art program um, this at Dobbins is where he met his wife Gloria Jean um, after Dobbins um, Jerry Pinckney got a full scholarship to the Philadelphia Museum College of Art and um, this is where this is when him and his wife um, actually got uh, married, which I think is a really fun um, fact because the two, the couple, Gloria is an author and Jerry is an illustrator. The couple have four sons together and their son Brian followed in their footsteps loving um, all aspects that they taught him growing up of drawing and coloring and painting and just, you know, opening his eyes to their relationship, how his parents um, communicated and worked well together and, um, you know, learned from each other. So Brian followed in their footsteps and went on to um, art college as well and also met his wife who is um, Andrea Davis. She is an author as well, and Brian is an illustrator. So I thought that that was a really interesting and fun fact to learn um, about Jerry and his, um, his little family. Um, Jerry and his wife Gloria have, I found two books that they have done together. Those books include um, one called Back Home, and the other is Sunday Outing. Um, the couple reside in, I believe it to be, New York today and um, are still, you know, publishing works um, and working on things together. Um, Jerry started out with his illustrating um, at a greeting card company and then with two other artists opened um, an art studio that they called Kaleidoscope. 
Um, it wasn't much after that that Jerry opened his own um, freelance, I guess, freelance um, studio, and it is called the Jerry Pinkney Studio. Um, Jerry Pinkney has become one of my most favorite artists. Um, he is known as a watercolorist. Um, his style of illustrating is impeccably detailed and beautiful. His um, favorite type of illustrating is through nature and animals. He does his intricate detail is fascinating. It is mind-blowing um, where each illustration can take you. Um, he encompasses two elements to his illustrations. Uh, first is the watercolor um, and then pencil, which was his first love due to his um, learning disabilities in school and the difficulties that he faced. Um, he got really acquainted with the pencil fell in love with that and then um, secondly chose the watercolor um, because it was transparent and it um, offered him a different challenge and that is what he needed. Um, watercolors for Jerry um, offer him to be in the moment and to go with um, a new creation with each painting. Um, along with being um, a celebrated illustrator, Jerry Pinkney is also um, an established independent artist. He has, um, he's mostly inspired by nature um, and also his culture, but um, all, most of Jerry's um, art and his art exhibitions and all of the pieces that he displays are started with um, by teaching his students. So he does teach students um, how to draw and paint and he starts most of his um, works in the classroom, drawing and teaching, and then finishes them you know, with painting. Um, he has had an abundant amount of exhibitions to show off all of his works and um, as part of the Norman Rockwell Museum which is fascinating. Um, much of Pinckney's work through his um, children's books and illustrations they pay tribute to his African-American heritage. Um, he is always looking for an opportunity to incorporate culture and community and likes to, um, you know, incorporate the two through illustrating and um, teaching the importance of cultural diversity to children um, through painting. Um, one of my absolute favorites, and this is how I fell in love with um, Jerry Pinkney, is through his book, which is also a Caldecott um, Medal winner, is The Lion and the Mouse. Um, this book is actually a wordless rendition and is absolutely beautiful. I have two favorite paintings that I will show. As you can see the incredible detail here with the lion looking at the mouse, just kind of cupping him and then letting him, he ultimately lets him go. And then the second is where the mouse, the smallest, repays the biggest and the greatest of the, of the jungle. And so this, um, this photo is, this illustration is beautiful. And you can see, um, so I'm going to read this uh, wordless rendition comes from Aesop's fable and the lion and the mouse. This is also Jerry Pinckney's um, has a little illustration here, but this is the worded version. So the lion and the mouse and come this way. One day, while a mouse was creeping through the tall grass, she happened upon a great lion asleep in the sun. I might see for quite a long distance from the top of this beast's back, she thought, 
Boldly, the mouse crept up the lion's flank and scampered along his spine. The tickling of the mouse's tiny feet woke the lion. With one swipe, he snatched her in his claws and dangled her by her tail in front of his nose. For daring to interrupt my nap, the lion growled, you'll be my next meal. Oh, please, the terrified mouse gasped. Let me go, and I promise one day I'll help you in return. The lion shook with laughter. Ah, ha, 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 impossible, he roared. But the proud animal was so amused by the idea that he allowed the mouse to go. Not long after, the lion was caught in a trap set by some clever hunters. No matter how the powerful beast thrashed and fought, he could not free himself from the strong net that raised from the ground. No other animal dared come near to help for fear of the hunters. But when the brave little mouse heard his cries, she remembered her promise and hurried to his side. Quickly, she gnawed through the sturdy ropes with her sharp teeth until the lion could escape for freedom. You see, she said, there are times when even a tiny mouse can help a lion. And the moral of the story is, even the strongest can sometimes use the help of the smallest. Um, more of Jerry's work includes The Ugly Duckling, which is adapted by him and illustrated beautifully. Another one of my favorites is The Patchwork Quilt, a Coretta Scott King award winner. The Ugly Duckling was a Caldecott honor book. Um, Jerry Pinckney has um, to his name totaling nearing 120 awards and certificates for illustrations, five Caldecott honors, including the 2010 Caldecott Medal winner for The Lion and the Mouse book. Um, he has also received five Coretta King, King um, Award books, uh, honors, and then four Coretta Scott King honors. Mr. Pinckney is an incredible American illustrator, one of our time's best um, American illustrators, and I am so glad that I have found him and am more aware of his illustrations. Thank you. Now for the activity that I will have my students do um, will be an incorporation of the Aesop's Fable, The Lion and the Mouse, that I read. And then um, I will show them the wordless rendition of The Lion and the Mouse. And what I will have them do is go by the, um, let's see, the moral of the story down here. Even the strongest can sometimes use the help of the smallest. I will write that on the board and I will have all of my students write their own little short story of how something great or mighty or big uses the help or is in need of the help of something smaller or weaker or, um, you know, that resembles the lion and the mouse. And then I'll have them do a fun little illustration to, um, you know, encompass their story and combine you know the story and an illustration we will post those for all to see and um maybe come up with their own um you know little moral of the story that is similar to how even the greatest needs the help from the smallest um thank you and have a great day